Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us live now. And Matthew, there are some logistical issues with this that we do need to know about. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, that's what we're going to be tackling tonight. There are things that will make it harder on medical facilities and things that will make it tougher on us. This is not going to be like your flu shot, one pop, and then you're good to go. It's the light at the end of the tunnel we've all been waiting for. A coronavirus vaccine manufactured by Pfizer is showing promise. 90% effective more effective than we had uh, probably anticipated before. Connecticut has been preparing for this moment by creating a vaccine advisory group. We learned it'll still be months before it reaches the average American. And once the vaccine arrives, some will be given priority access. Healthcare workers, uh, frontline staff, um, the, the elderly, those who are high risk. Where people can get the vaccine appears to be a big point of concern because it needs to be kept at temperatures below minus 70 degrees Celsius. So you've got to have that capability. But we imagine at this point that local health departments and hospitals will be the primary, at least in phase one, vaccinators. Pfizer says nationwide it could have 30 to 40 million doses of the vaccine by the end of the year. So the state will work on finding storage space, while the public will need to adjust to getting two doses of the vaccine three weeks apart. One of the ways we can keep our um, economy open, keep our schools open, is A, taking the necessary precautions. No serious safety concerns have popped up during these trials, but as our unofficial WFSB poll taken today shows, half of the voters either didn't want the vaccine or were uncertain about it. Manufacturers know convincing the public to get it remains a challenge. No corners were cut. We followed this tried and true methodology that has worked so well for us in the past. And a remarkable 43,000 people volunteered for this Pfizer study, and it will still need FDA approval. Mark? Matthew, it is absolutely incredible. I know a lot of people are very excited about this tonight. But if this is what they say, 90% effective, how does that really compare with the flu shot? Well, Mark, you know, the flu vaccine is usually 50 to 60% effective. So this 90%, that's great. That's close to the measles vaccine, where two doses of that is 97% effective. Okay, Matthew Campbell, thank you very much for that report tonight.